Strog? What? That's an option. Prepare to fight. Not an option is running smooth. So Aaron versus Breakage, round, round two of there. the North American qualifier Three, for QuakeCon 2023. Two, starting one. on Aaron's point of view. Let's go. Portals. Gets the heavy spawn and looks like he's immediately going to go for the rocket monsters. launcher. I think it's the right play. Spawn. Breakage going the, the opposite Cups. direction. <laughs> he just does not want a conflict. Yeah, he's just going all the way around a shotgun. That's not you. You could tell Aaron was surprised. He was just waiting. Like, where? Where is he going? He had an LG. The dual lane is like, no, I, I am a pacifist today. I mean, it, it's not like it hasn't been all right for him. The stack's still pretty equal. Yeah, you think Aaron, odd, right? Oh, he comes out for the aggressive play. Aaron really wants to play aggressive uh, break it. The dual wield though, a lot of LG damage yeah. coming out. Aaron wasn't able to hit the mid-air rocket. Breakage gonna meet him at the high ground, probably a fight for this next light armor. Ah! Gonna disengage though. Seems like he wants to play really passive this match. Just gonna concede that light armor to Aaron completely. And Aaron the mega being a little right. careful there. Aaron gonna grab the mega and then look for exit damage on this heavy. Gonna look for the angle, but breakage going through the portal, not gonna give it to Aaron. Aaron just gonna play slow. Oh my god, he's going oh, up the oh. What? Is how passive he was trying to play. That that that's a massive blunder for for breakage. He's gonna pay the price. That is not what, how he wanted to, the first wreck to happen at all. Yeah, after playing so passive for so long, like I know he didn't realize Aaron was there, but still, you gotta be certain. You cannot go like that. You don't know where you're. Yeah, yeah exactly. And Aaron now gonna have full control with for also a little bit of a delay. Going for the rocket jump to try to meet breakage, but unable to make it. Breakage able to stabilize the stack coming in with the LG. Aaron Rocket's able to board him off. And now probably gonna be able to secure this mega, but breakage comes straight in with the LG. Oh no, he lost the fight. How did he lose the fight? I guess he, I ran, out he ran out of ammo. ammo. Yeah. Oh, Not able he... to switch to shotgun fast enough. That is unfortunate. But at least we finally saw uh, an aggressive play by Breakit, and it seems to have worked out pretty well up until yeah, he, he just ran out of ammo. to the shotgun a little bit faster, but he's completely giving up the heavy here for no reason. Not sure what that's about. He, he got the LG, but he didn't even get the HMG yet, so now finally getting it. So let's see if he'll try to fight for this mag. He still has a dual wield and the HMG, so he should be fine to hold the position. It's a good Aaron. position for him to make a play on this mega. Nice oh, try bolt though, God. completely denying the mega. He's gonna get the light armor, but Aaron will still have a stack advantage and he might be able to meet breakage on the upper light. Kind of fumbling a movement and almost a catch from breakage. But he can pull it into that room, the dual wield comes out. Aaron he wisely decides engage. to back off. Yeah, and now he can go back in and try to fight for the match possibly force a fight right before the mega I think he knows we where could he is. see a drop the down with the orb oh my god nice read with the rocket or kind of missing its mark the rocket jump comes out once nice. again Come both players you. hitting nice rockets but aaron's the one to get the kill and also able to fall off fall back onto both the light and the heavy gonna go try to catch him at the lg break is running full speed ahead allowing aaron to if get leaves, another frag on the board it. and now gonna look for the spawn getting a little bit of tribal damage and I'm just gonna Seems. deny that line armor and get the mega. Yeah, that apparently doesn't seem like he's in his element. He's playing, he's playing aggressive, not overly aggressive, but holding his position, fighting for the items he wants to fight, getting the shots he has to hit. Uh, nice orb as well, almost. It takes a lot of damage though. Yeah, it takes a lot of damage. Not able to go for the spawn track either. Breakage coming in oh, with the no. machine gun, able to get the kill. I don't think he was expecting to get a kill because he even backed off after getting it for a little bit. Well, he might have backed off to get the light armor. Yeah, that. Yeah, actually, he did get the, the light armor, right? Yeah. And now, uh, even though he lost out on the mega, he did get that lightning gun, so he he could still win this fight even with the stack disadvantage. The orb's not up oh either, God. but a beautiful direct rocket into the drop down with the LG. Aaron's gonna be able to get the kill, and now gonna wait for this light armor. However, if breakage is, fa is fast, he could beat him to the heavy. And yeah, Aaron, I think he he decided like I'm not gonna wait for the the light armor. Just gonna go for the heavy. I think it was the smart decision. Aggressive orb coming out. But it works out as he has two really nice rockets. Silk. It's really showing his experiences. Like the plays he makes have no hesitation behind them. 
Every time he feels like he has an opening, he goes in and he just gets a needle. And very, I think that is the, the correct way to play. Like, even if your yeah. decisions, they aren't always like 100% correct. Like, if, you, if you do them with Everything confidence and speed and you execute on them, like a lot of the times they work out. And we're seeing that with Aaron. Yeah, the, Breaking the always being be, a little bit more hesitant. The time to be deliberating between about your decisions isn't when you're playing a tournament. You have to you do that before or after while VOD reviewing, not during the tournament. During the tournament, you want to be executing what you know. If what you know isn't enough, then you'll get better next time. See three rocket jumps coming out. The ranger Very pass nice. is gonna do its work. Ooh, getting caught out by Breakage, but only a shotgun. And it looks like he thought the mega was coming up as well. I think Breakage is a bit lost right now on the map. He he's gonna have to if he wants any chance to come back. He, he first of all needs to figure out what the timing is. Two wheel comes out though, and the orb miss. A lot of them is not bad. The shotgun nice. coming out. And this could be an opportunity to come back. Still around uh, four minutes left in this map. Plenty of time for a comeback. But he misses out Aaron on the mega. Yeah, he didn't have the time in Aaron reading that perfectly. Yeah, I think it was really smart from Aaron because he, he also saw earlier that Breakage fell on the mega after he'd already taken it. So he knew that Breakage didn't have timing on that mega. Immediately capitalizing on it and with an eight frag advantage. Dude, Aaron, game's looking really unlikely oh, for goes. Breakage to come back. Nice rocket, rocket though. But this is his last chance. Like he needs to make a kill happen in the next yeah, 30 seconds. He, he knew the mega timing that time as well, but he didn't make any aggressive push on it. It seems to be playing way right from the start, right? We saw that he, he was trying to play very passive. Aaron. <laughs> He, he smelled blood in the water, and every time he sees an opportunity, he just goes for it. Defensive plays work, but only if, you, if they're deliberate. Like, a lot of the time, if you're just playing defensive because you're scared and you're hesitant about, you know, losing fights, then it's not going to work out, especially against someone who is executing yeah. his aggressive plays. Defense, being defensive is one thing. Being passive is, is another. And breakage, I feel like he went way too I passive. Aaron also making good use of the orb this game. We're seeing a lot of, you know, rocket For jump sure. into orb combos. I don't really feel like Aaron made any major mistakes this game at all. Yeah, I don't either. That's why I think, you know, Aaron has Stop a chance watching. to take this oh, no. I think he, he has more practice than almost like anyone else. Because he plays pretty regularly. Last challengers, uh, last time in the NA challengers, he lost to Sid in the grand finals. He did have an easy bracket though. <laughs> he had the, the upper bracket when, while all the good players were in the lower bracket. And right now it's just garbage time. Yeah, this is a victory lap for, for Aaron and breakage. I think it's good that he plays it through. He should try to play, be some, do some. You know, some aggressive moves, get, a, get some confidence going to the next map, because he's going to need it. He's really going to need it with that matchup. He's going to be on Doom against the next on Blood Covenant. Assistance. It can be really tough, unless you're, you're hitting all your shots and making the right read. Like Nyx with the Ghost Walk and the smaller hitbox. It can be really hard to do. It. And the Doom Slayer is one of the easier champions to rail. Just one of the reasons he's not the best on Blood Covenant. Yeah, but Doom is really good on maps that have like heavy rocket usage because he can double jump over the rockets. But in maps where it's mostly hits can dominate it, uh, Doom usually just gets thrown around. Yeah, a map like a uh, Woken, you can pretty effectively dodge the rails, and there's going to be a lot of rocket fights around the major items as well as there being of course a lot of good jumps that doom can do to take shortcuts around the map but on on other maps where he doesn't have those advantages he doesn't have much offensive potential and without making good use of the double jump it's like you're playing just you're playing from a, a huge disadvantage I think Breakage was able to stabilize a little bit. The score, the scoreline didn't get too out of hand at the end. So maybe he can try to come back on this next map.
going to be rough, but we'll see. Either way, after this uh, round is where the, the the amazing games start happening. We're looking yeah. at the potential effortless versus Yanam. Uh, That's a great Vigo game. Sashko versus AK Pounds or Death Row. Possibly Aaron versus Dewey. It's a Aaron it's a versus. I want to watch Aaron versus Dewey actually, because that's like a grand finals match. I think. But effortless versus Yenem as well. That's also like a grand finals match. There's a lot of grand final matches. Well, I think that all these players have the potential to take it. That's what I mean by that. I'm looking at a 40 line stream right now, and actually it's a pretty close game right now between Effortless and Siluro. I saw the start, first. and it, it seems that Siluro got a, a pretty lucky couple of first frags, so he was leading like 2 or 3 to 0. Also, I saw he got a ring out on Effortless. The list nice. wasn't happy about that. Oh no, Effortless. Not Effortless. Aaron is struggling Only with the, the Nick's rail to the jump with Nail. I, I'm not loaded in yet, I can't see. Oh, so you're the reason we're waiting. I see. It's been taking a long Prepare time for me to load into games for some reason. Round begins in three. Okay, two, we're gonna start the second map. One, I'm starting on breakage fight. this time around to see. Okay. I, I hate this spawn that he got. Because if you have a Doom or like a Athena, you can get to any item for your opponent. But with most other champions, you just kind of have to play based off what your opponent wants to play. Well, it was a pretty smart ability usage there, yeah. just to get all the way around. To and the he gets both major around. items as well, so this is a perfect start for him. Not really connecting with anything just yet. And I believe this was Breakage's uh, map pick as well. So it makes sense that he's showing oh, a strength, but missing all these rails in the drop down. Gonna oh, grab, my. gonna get Aaron the kill as... Similar yeah, that to is... uh, the last match we watched, it's just not much uh, execution from him. Yeah, I was about to say that. It feels like I'm watching Georgie again. Like, a good setup, he had a lot of advantages, and then he just missed five rails in a row in three of the rounds. He does get a nice rail on the Aaron. I think he, he has a pretty good uh, reads on this map so far. He just needs to execute with the aim. Gonna drop down for this heavy. Aaron, I think he was a little bit unsure about where breakage was because he was firing rockets at the railgun. Aaron now gonna go on to the mega. This is a good opportunity for breakage. And I think Aaron gonna back off because he knows he doesn't have the stack for this fight. Gonna rotate around to rocket and able to grab himself a railgun. And a decent position to fight for this heavy. Breakage unsure of where Aaron is. Aaron with a nice rail, but Breakage with a nice follow-up shot. Breakage looking for Aaron, trying to go for the upper light, but makes the wrong read. Able to get the heavy, but he's going to have to be quick to get to Mega. Ability is popped. Get there as quick as he can. And goes wow, for the, the jump rocket? LG floated by Aaron. But he, he somehow hits that rocket and makes it all okay again. Oh my god, I thought that rocket was going to hit him. Almost did. Would have blown the game wide open. Yeah, stack's pretty even here. I think breakage with a little bit of an ability. Uh, what? Uh, the rocket. Positional advantage. The switch weapon, please. No, and... The other weapon. <laughs> he gets the heavy in the end. If he had switched the machine gun, I think he would have gotten that kill without Aaron even being able to pop the, the ghost one. There's a nice really rail. nice rail coming now, leaving Aaron with almost no health. It's gonna allow Breakage to put a really nice split on these major items. Aaron taking a high ground position, but he might get caught out. The Ghost Walk's not up yet, so Breakage could get the kill here, but oh, some nice defensive tribal. And Aaron now gonna be able to stack up pretty nicely and maybe make a play for this Mega. Where am I? He might not know the timing though, because Breakage oh. put quite a delay on it. I don't think Breakage even movement. knows that he used oh. the the ghost one. Rocket not landing. And I think another yeah, movement fumble. I don't think oh Aaron uh, meant to fall there. He was railable though for a second. 
Yeah, I think it was the, the right read from Aaron, you know, dr coming in with the LG, but a movement yeah. failure. Gonna lose him control now. Now he has to do it all over again, but first he wants to get back up, which was surprisingly fast. Yeah, and with a nice rail, he could act, he could make a good play for this Mega, but backing off, it looks like he might have thought that Heavy was up, because he went to go check on it. But a nice rail, and the second follow-up. Gonna go grab himself rotation. some more rail ammo. Really nice rocket reads, but made the wrong weapon switch. But he gets oh, right the kill before he checks. Heavy. Right before it, and that's gonna be painful. Because I feel like Breakage has been playing this game, like tech, but just not really landing the shots he needs to. Yeah, very similar to Georgie versus Vigilante in that aspect. I think he has overall played it better, but he hasn't executed on any of the in any of the engagements. At least on this map. The last map, we can confidently say Aaron was both executing and playing it better. Yeah. But in this map, uh, not going out Breakage's way. In any of these encounters, like he's hitting 27% trail against Aaron's 50. Could be due to the, the champion hey, you know, Nyx with a much smaller yeah. hitbox than Doom. It's, this is one of the reasons why Doom has such a disadvantage on this map compared to the Nyx. Looks like Aaron knows he's there looking for the angle, is able to find it. The abilities pop to try to escape, but Aaron with the follow-up. Breakage with no health to his name. If Aaron can find the angle here, the kill will be his, and he is able to find it. Five minute warning. Also, uh, moving really quickly across the rocket platform to deny Breakage from being the railgun spawn. And now with the catch out at the, the railgun with the LG, he might even get another spawn frag here. Unable to hit the, the first rail or the second, so Breakage will be able to escape, and he needs to mount some sort of comeback pretty quickly. Aaron with the drop down as well. Looks like Breakage. I like the aggressiveness. I think he got confused by the sound, which that can happen on Blood Covenant because the vertical sound in this game can be pretty confusing. It's not over yet. Still plenty of time to come back, but it's gonna be hard, especially if Aaron can, uh, if he does end up losing control, he can play a defensive game with the Ghost Walk and make it really difficult for Breakage to come back. We see the fight come out. Breakage though, finally starting to hit those rails. I think that third one would have hit too if Aaron didn't pop the Ghost Walk. So I think Ghost Walk saving Aaron's life right there. Breakage now might even be able to get a kill. Oh. Unable to hit that rail though. That kind of puts a vent on his aggressiveness for a little while. But, uh, and that doesn't rocket want to stop. too. Just barely not railable. Oh, and misses the rail. He had a chance, but now he really has to preserve his life because he don't want to be six tracks down with three minutes to go. And he also needs to start getting the kill. But so that light armor is not going to be up for a while as Aaron just so took it. If, he's, if he waits here too long, then Aaron will probably get a kill on him. Yeah, Aaron Resident knows Ghost where walk. he is. There's no way he doesn't. Yeah, I think the, the Ghost Walk came out just to get uh, high ground positioning. So I think playing it safe is smart there. Just making sure he can get the Mega. Oh, man. And a nice rail leaving Breakage extremely low. Aaron should know where he is. He re Breakage really wants to start his comeback, but Aaron does not give him a chance. Another rail. He doesn't even need to kill him at this point. aim is just on point for Aaron. And that's the really yes. story in this game. Yeah, I think... He was standing still for a bit. I think he he realizes this game is over. And Aaron putting on a really nice performance, I think, because Breakage, you know, we didn't see a lot coming out from him, but I know he's not a bad player at all. And I think it, with oh, how man. good Aaron's aim is, like that alone can carry him in some of the uh, later matches that he has. I guess you see, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm surprised by the level I've seen mm -hmm. of Aaron. In these yeah, me matches. too. Actually, I knew he was he was gonna be good, but really nice performance from him in this in this set. So Aaron seems he's going to be going versus the winner of Nathaniel and Dewey. So that'd be a really nice game to watch.